What's up guys, now in this video, I am gonna be talking about how you can choose the right e-commerce platform for you and your business. But before I get into it, I just wanna to say to anybody who's new to the channel, first off, thank you so much for clicking on and watching. And my name is Paul Haywood. I do lots of e-commerce related content. I do e-commerce reviews and general hints and tips to help you grow your online business. So if that's something you're interested in and you're interested in growing or even starting an online business, then please consider hitting that subscribe button because I release videos like this every single week. And with that said, let's get started. So there are a massive amount of e-commerce platforms online, but which one should you go for? Should you follow the majority of people and go with Shopify, or should you go with other platforms such as EKM, Shopwired, Blue Park here in the UK, or other big companies such as Big Commerce or Volution, or even things like 3D Car? Well, it all depends on you. And the reason why I say it all depends on you is because it all depends on how you feel when you're using that platform. Now, the majority of people will just follow what people online say and generally go with Shopify. I think that's the reason why it's grown to such a big business. They're now powering over a million websites and in terms of e-commerce platforms, they are one of, if not the biggest in the world. But just because they're the biggest doesn't mean to say they're the best. And this is what I wanna cover in this video on how you can choose an online platform that's best for you and your business. Because that's the most important thing is having what's right for you, not what is supposedly the best platform. Because honestly, there isn't a best platform. It's a bit of a myth that's going around online that so-and-so platform's the best or this platform's the best. Honestly, there is not a single platform that is the best online platform. They've all got their pros and they've all got their cons. And it all comes down to you and how you interact with the platform as to what's right for you. And I'm gonna cover that more in this video. Now, when it comes to choosing an e-commerce platform, there are three main things you do want your platform to do. You want it to be fast because it's a ranking factor in Google and also it has a massive impact on conversion rates, how quick your website loads and how quick people can interact with it. So that is one of the most important things. And fortunately, nearly every single e-commerce commerce platform has this one now because they all use specialist servers that can produce high performance so your websites load fast. The second thing is you want them all to have mobile responsive themes so they all work on mobile devices because it accounts for around about 50% of traffic to most e-commerce websites is from mobile devices and that's growing year on year and fortunately they've pretty much all got that covered as well. And the third thing is you want to have good quality support because effectively with these platforms, you're paying them a fee every single month to not only host your website, but also act as your own technical support department. Just in case things go wrong or you can't figure something out, you wanna be able to phone these companies up and say, look, I'm having problems with this. I'm having problems with X, Y, and Z. Can you help me on it? And you want to have a good quality support network in place so that you can get all those things achieved. And once again, they've all got this sorted. A lot of companies have specific times where their phone teams are available, usually between 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. But a lot of them have live chat functions which are available 24 seven. So there's always usually somebody you can contact so you can get your issues resolved because as entrepreneurs, business owners, we work really strange hours. Oftentimes you'll find yourself doing stuff at 11, 12 o'clock at night. Well, I know what I do anyway. And when you've got an issue, you want to be able to contact someone instantly. And okay, there might be a slight delay because it's that time of the night over live chat, but you still wanna know that you can get it sorted while you're having that problem live in front of you. And as I say, most of them have all got this sorted. They've all got really, really good support networks. Now there is one thing I do wanna cover here that a lot of people get confused about, especially when they're just starting out on their e-commerce journey. And that is the difference between a hosted e-commerce platform and a self-hosted e-commerce platform. Now a hosted e-commerce platform is companies like Shopify, EKM, Shopword, Big Commerce, all these ones where you pay them a monthly fee and you get a website on their platform. And they take care of all the technical side of running the website for you. They take care of all the servers, all your security, your performance, all stuff like that is taken care of as part of your monthly package. Whereas with a self-hosted website, what you do is you buy your hosting and then you install a software on it. Now, this is stuff like WordPress plus WooCommerce or OpenCart, where you are responsible for every aspect of your site. So making sure your site's performing well, making sure it's mobile responsive, all things like that you are responsible for running that website. And that is the big difference between the two. So with that covered, how do you choose the right platform for you? 
Well, luckily all of these companies offer free trials and they range usually from 14 to 28 days, depending on what link you go through on certain partners, such as me, I'm a partner with EKM here in the UK and I get to offer a 28 day trial whereas the standard is 14. That's not a sales pitch, honestly. I'm just saying what certain partners get to offer their customers. So it's always worth going through all of these trials and not like a horrible trial, just the free trial to check the platforms out. And from my experience, I usually knew within the first four to six hours of using the platform, whether or not I felt comfortable with it. And what I mean by comfortable is, do I find it easy to navigate? Do I find it easy to use? Am I struggling to find things that I found really easy with other platforms? Because if you're struggling to navigate the admin area of your dashboard, you're gonna find it harder to run your website because you're almost fighting against the website to try and make it work for you. Whereas you might go onto another platform and instantly click with the platform, you can easily navigate it, you can find your way around, you can find your way to everything. And this is what I mean by finding the best for you and your business, not what everybody says is the best. Now, I do lots of e-commerce reviews I've just finished off doing my Shopify review and I've reviewed quite a few other platforms as well and it's evident to me that there is no such thing as a best platform they've all got their own pros and they've all got their own cons and there's some that I find a lot easier to use there's some I find more difficult to use there's some I think yes I can build an online store with this platform really really easily others where I think it would take me a while to get around it and in that time I'm learning how to use this platform I could have already been up and running with somebody else. So that's why it's better to do all of these trials and make a short list of the companies. So if you're here in the UK, yeah, look at Shopify and BigCommerce. They're the two biggest ones globally, but they are based in the US. So also look at UK based ones, look at EKM as I mentioned earlier, Shopwired, another UK based one, Blue Park, another UK based one. And have a look at these and see how you feel. And don't just test the platform out either. Don't just navigate it always test the support as well ask a few questions see how quick they get back to you if you're finding that you're waiting 24 hours for a response that's not really that good whereas other companies you might get an instant response or you might have to wait an hour or so but generally you want your response to be as quick as possible so always test that functionality out as well it's something i always do when i'm testing the platforms out i'll always send questions off and see what the response time's like and it gives you a feeling of how good the support network is for that platform so that's why it's always worth testing these out rather than just following everybody else then find out that that platform doesn't actually work that well for you and your business. So once you've tested a few of these platforms, you'll probably narrow your shortlist down from say seven or eight companies down to two or three that you really like and really feel comfortable with. But how do you narrow that down to the one that's perfect for you? Well, you wanna do a little bit more in-depth testing and a little bit in-depth research into the company. See what features they offer and start to think about what features you want your website to have because there might be things that certain platforms offer that others don't that you actually need for your business and then you can start weighing up the pros and cons of each one to come to an educated decision as to which one is going to be best for you and i'm going to stress this point again it's what's best for you and your business because you want your website to be as easy to run as possible because it's going to make your life so much less stressful we've got enough going on anyway when we're running a business let alone struggling to use our website platform so always make sure you find it easy to use and it's packed all the features you want to make sure your business is gonna be a success. And make sure you take them up on these trials. I can't stress, I cannot stress that one enough is to take advantage of all the free trials. I know you probably have a timeline in your mind of when you want your online store up and running, but honestly, take a couple of weeks out, test all these platforms, see what you think is gonna be the best, and then go for that platform. Another thing you can do with some platforms is you can run test orders through it. And this is quite a good thing to do because you get the feel of how it is to process orders. And it's all right it being easy to use the platform to upload products, to change the design, but if you struggle to manage orders on your site, it's gonna make your life a bit difficult in the long run. So you do wanna make sure it's easy to manage orders. So create some test orders, see how easy it is to print those orders off, easy to mark them as dispatched, easy to do refunds, things like that so you want to use it as if it is a fully functioning live website and go through all the processes that you're going to be going through 
when your website is live because if there's certain things that you're finding really difficult to manage then it's probably going to mean that that platform isn't quite right for you especially if that is really easy along with all the other things you find easy on another platform and it's just this research process of going through seeing what you like on the platform seeing what you find easy seeing how good the platform is to use and eventually you do come to this decision where you think, yes, this is the right platform for me. If it does come down to two platforms, then unfortunately you're just gonna have to make a decision. But if you've narrowed it down to two that you really, really like, you're probably gonna be good going with either one. It's just whichever one you get that gut feeling that is right for you. And you will get a gut feeling with these platforms. I always got it when I was testing for my website, when it was an e-commerce store, I was always testing. And I always had this gut feeling of whether, yes, I like this platform and it's gonna work for me or no this isn't going to work and it's always good to go with that feeling in your gut because it's usually an indication of what's right and what's wrong for you so always test them always go with your gut feeling and always test them out as much as you can when you're on your free trial and you'll be able to narrow your list down and go with the best platform for you and your business once again i'm going to iterate that what's right for you and your business so thank you so much for watching guys if you have enjoyed this video please drop a like on it and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as i said at the start of the video i do e-commerce related content and i've got it all on my website as well which i'll link down in the description below so you can go and check out some of the reviews i've done on some of the platforms there's always new reviews coming because i'm always looking at new platforms i'm always doing comparisons things like that as well as writing how-to guides so once again guys thank you so much for watching as I said drop a like on it hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get first access to all my new content and i'll see you all in the next video